I think you may be seeing the first Tesla Model Y produced at Gigafactory Berlin. Today, two of our friends, uh, Jürgen, who tweets uh, GF4 Tesla, and Tobias Lind, who regularly tweeted and documented Tesla Giga Berlin's construction, the updates from Giga Berlin, have uh, uh, shown some pictures and also videos that show some uh, production uh, or test uh, Model Y covered and uncovered. Uh, at the parking lot of Giga Berlin. Tobias says, looks like the brand new Model Y on the Giga Berlin parking lot. Are they producing the Giga Berlin? So what do you think, friends? Do you think Tesla is producing? Also, uh, Jürgen also said, covered Model Y next to the test truck. You're seeing these pictures. These are very interesting, friends. So a few more days, then finally, at least from the point of view of the uh, Tesla and many supporters, the last official deadline, which still stands in the way of the final approval for the Tesla Gigafactory in Grünheide near Berlin will be over due to a mixture of changes by Tesla and a formal error uh, at the authorities, objections to the plans for the German electric car factory Giga Berlin Tesla are currently being discussed publicly for the third time, the second time in an online process. It ends on Monday and because all the objections and additions due to the repetition have long being known, uh, these uh, things could go quickly afterwards. Meanwhile, the first Tesla Model Ys were observed as early as this week, driving out of the production hall and then onto the test truck. Maybe in my next um, reports I will have more, but for example, Tesla Facts and Tobias Lin said that uh, three brand new Model Ys were spotted existing, exiting the factory production floor at Tesla Gigafactory in Berlin. All three Model Ys made loops on the test truck, very likely locally produced. Calibration units don't come in triples and don't use the test truck. So why is this using the test truck? Simon Alvarez also writes about this in Tesla Radi saying it appears that some trial EV production activities may be ongoing at Tesla's Germany-based uh, Giga Berlin factory during a recent flyover of the massive Grünheide site. Several Tesla Model Y units that seemed to have been produced in the factory were spotted rolling out of Gigafactory Berlin. The old electric crossovers then proceeded to head over to the site's test truck. While the three Model Y units seem to have been produced at Giga Berlin complex, there is also a chance, of course, that the vehicles were just used to calibrate the production equipment to have long been set up in the facility. But like I said, the calibration vehicles don't usually go on the test truck, drive and come back. Now, that being said, Model Y units that were used for calibration, like I said, do not typically use Gigafactory Berlin's test truck. With this in mind, there seemed to be a decent chance that the vehicles spotted in the recent video were locally built at Giga Berlin. What do you think, friends? Do you think these are the first Tesla Model Ys produced at Giga Berlin? So we may be seeing the first Model Y produced at Giga Berlin. I'll look forward to reading your comments and your uh, uh, your thoughts on this. Uh, when do you think the final permit will come? This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. God bless you. Peace be with all of you. And and let's move on to our next Tesla story. There are some breaking changes that have been made to Made in China Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus. It has changed the name, it has changed the price, it has changed the range and acceleration. Imagine this, it's got 15% increase in range with these new battery cells. We know that Giga Shanghai's Model 3 rear wheel drive, that's the new name, use the new LFP batteries. That is the lowest energy density cells on the market, but clearly Giga Shanghai has managed to find a way, Tesla has found a way to make a long range battery electric vehicles with these battery cells. This is super impressive, I think. Well done, Tesla. It is also reason for optimism that there will not be a nickel shortage crisis for the production of the highest energy density cells on the market. So what happens with them? Tesla China updated Giga Shanghai's Model 3 rear wheel drive variant and increased its price by about $2,350.21. 
The price is now around $40,000. To be more precise, it's $39,311 after tax reductions. According to Tesla China's online configurator, the new Made in China Model 3 rear wheel drive, previously called the Standard Range Plus, now qualifies for the new energy vehicle purchase tax reduction and fiscal subsidies in China. The Model 3 rear wheel drives tax exemptions could save buyers up to $6,267. The actual starting price of the new Model 3 rear wheel drive is about $41,793. The new CLTC range is 556 kilometers. That's 400. Uh, 68 kilometers NDAC. So let me explain what's the, the difference and change from CLTC to NEDC range that was used previously. The new Model 3 rear wheel drive has a range estimate following the China light duty vehicle test cycle. It's called CLTC standard instead of the previous new European driving cycle NEDC. Under the current CLTC standard estimates, the new Model 3 railroad drive has a range of 545 kilometers, that's 339 miles, compared to the previous 525 miles, 326 miles, NEDC estimates. Therefore, deliveries of the new rear wheel drive Model 3 are expected to start in the first quarter of 2022, hinting that the outgoing Model 3 variant standard range price is already sold out for the remainder of the year. The Model 3 performance still has an estimated delivery date listed in the fourth quarter of 2021. Based on the base Made in China Model 3 rear wheel drives delivery estimates, demand for Tesla's more affordable vehicles is still going strong. Giga Shanghai seems to be keeping up with reservations. The Made in China Tesla Model Y standard range rear wheel drive is also sold out for the rest of 2021. However, Giga Shanghai estimates that base Model Y deliveries could start again by the first quarter of 2022. So, friends, what do you think about all of these changes uh, of the Model 3? And I think 15% of range, uh, range increase is impressive. Let me know your thoughts, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. I want to ask you a favor. I want to make these uh, uh, videos more interesting. Uh, maybe I'm losing you someplace. If you guys have any ideas how I can change the way I talk or the way I present the topic and make these videos more interesting, please let me know in the comments section below. I would greatly appreciate it. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Welcome again and please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. I hope to do another live this evening, maybe some Q&A and to discussing topics about electric vehicles. Uh, God bless you. Peace be with all of you. And let's move on to our next Tesla story.